Today's a good day, right? Starting up uh, anime stuff. Well, we did anime yesterday as well. We did anime. Today you had a too. weird discussion with us, Baki Monogatari. Yeah, yeah. Um, on Tyler on Focus. Let's go. Raymond over there. Favorite anime is Baki Monogatari. Tyler over here. Least favorite anime <laughs> is Baki Monogatari. You know, and, and that's why we mesh so well. Positive, negative. Uh, they attract, according to science, that is, you know, if you if you believe in magnets, you know. Um, so yeah, today's anime, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just realized this is this, this is the start. We're starting it. Episode one, episode two. What do you want to start with, right? Which which one? Do you have a preference? Do you have a preference? Which you want to start with? Either. I mean, like, it doesn't matter to me. I watched the, the first two for each, and I can tell you. All right, so well, I, I feel like we start, with, we start with uh, Adachi and uh, Shimomura because I feel like there's less to talk about there, in my opinion. Okay. okay, so Adachi and Shimomura, right? It's kind of a slice of life. Maybe uh, definitely romance. Definitely, definitely the second romance. episode. Definitely really romance. Heavy. Um. Yeah, I, I, okay. This is pretty much what I thought the show was going to be, to be honest. Just looking at the, the preview, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to pull my stuff up because I'm not. Um, so yeah, so we get these two characters, right? They're both delinquents in their own right. Uh, I, I guess Adachi is like more delinquent than the other one. Because like, there's like rumors about her and stuff. And they're like, oh man, is that... That person, that's crazy. Um, this is a dodgy person. Yeah, but also she's like kind of possessive, I guess. Where she she can't hang out with Shimomura if they're with friends. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the show, man. It's just going through people, her having issues with people, Shimomura chilling <laughs> wondering what's going on she's just kind of going with the flow you know that's that, that's shimamura's character you know she she's not really worried about anything she she has friends apparently that she doesn't um that that's one thing that i'm gonna be interested to see how adachi's gonna be the haru dude yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a really good comparison because, dude, in the second episode, she gets shot down so quick when they're, like, like sitting together in a room. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and then and it cuts, and she's, like, crying. And she, she says something like, if, if, the, if the sun rises tomorrow, will, or if, if the sun rises in the morning, will tomorrow even come for me? And I'm like, man, that's, that's really sad. <laughs> This this really destroyed her, you know. Um, yeah, I, I'm interested to see how that progresses, and if Shimomura like, I feel like she doesn't know how she feels about Adachi, right? She's not really sure, and Adachi definitely knows, and it, just like you said with Haru, man, ha, ha, Haru knew. She she knew what she wanted. She knew the the lane she wanted to travel in. And the guy, I don't know his name. He's got like dark hair or something. Dark hair guy was like, nah, I don't know. I, I still want this other girl that doesn't like me. It doesn't make sense. I don't like that. Listen, it, it hurts me to say like, unironically, that maybe like one of the worst rom-coms I've ever seen because it hurt me so. <laughs> with, with the with the seat and lies I was feed into early on. Sure, yeah, yeah. 18 episodes. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm trying to think what else, man. I don't know. Adachi's definitely going to get hurt, though, right? We also got a little, like, alien astronaut. Yeah, so that's, that's the other thing, is... Is that, like... Are they adding a supernatural element to this? Mm-hmm. Because... But who that, knows? Who knows if it's supernatural or not? Because that, that astronaut isn't human. We don't know. 
I'm like, it, like I, I mean, I guess we don't know. <laughs> they're telling you can't see their face, but they're like allies on Earth. It's so weird. I don't know. It reminded me of a Tanuki. I don't know why. I just kept thinking that there's there, there's a little Tanuki in there. You know what I mean? Um, not wrong. But yeah, like there, there's some supernatural element to it, and that gives me hope because on the base level, right? You know, uh, the show is is uh, comprised of genres that I like very much, but if it's just going to be the struggle between Adachi Shimomura, their possible love, uh, I, I don't think it's going to be a very good show. I think it's going to get boring very quickly. But with Supernatural Element and this weird astronaut character that keeps popping up, um, even if it's not Supernatural, and even if it's just another character that has this weird thing, you know, I think that'll add something to the show that'll actually be, you know, shake things up, make it make it stand out from other other shows that are pretty much this, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's sad. It's, a, it's a sad times are ahead, you know? We had uh, Dachi not show up that one day. Do you remember I had to play table tennis by herself? Yeah, man. Imagine oh. having friends and making fun of uh, someone because you have friends and uh, you go to someone who doesn't have friends and they're like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it happens. It's like because you brought your friends here, we're no longer friends. Yeah, <laughs> you're Crazy. supposed to be friendless like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a weird thing to me. I just, I'm just like, I mean, I mean, like, I don't imagine being I... upset at someone for having friends, like you just don't go. You're like, to to argue against that, just to just to take the other side, right? I don't know if she was mad. I don't think she I was think like. It was mad because I agree with that, dude. It's you more like a secret. like me. You know, you know. I think that she was more like because she because she kind of touched on it when she was at the cafeteria and the other friend showed up and started talking with her and she was even like, "Oh, this, this is kind of nice. It reminds me of elementary school. You know, everyone was talking together." But she even had the weird feeling of like, "I don't like this though." Like, like they're taking time away from our, like, solo time or whatever. Or alone time, you know. Uh, yeah, again, it was back to you, possessive. You know, I feel like at some point, we have to see backstory for for these characters, right? Of course. To see why Adachi got this way. You know, because I think that's that's uh, probably a big, uh, the, 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 the crux of the show. She's already attached, dude. It's only been, like, how long? We don't even know. It's probably been like months. Which is also crazy, Ray. Right? Like, if if you were here watching it with me, oh man, because I, I remember the second episode coming up, and then like, um, that whole bedroom scene was happening, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was like, this is so quick. Rom coms never it never happens this quickly. It's usually like nine episodes in, a scene like this happens, and then they're like, oh, we love each other now. Episode two. So quick, I, I couldn't believe it. I was flabbergasted watching the scene unfold. And then when she got shut down, I was like, oh, yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is what I expect. You were like, oh, oh. you're like, the rom com never succeeds in episode one, dude. <laughs> if you do, you got a big boy plan. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for them to animate the 100 girlfriends I really, really, really love. Just for you to, to feel that in your heart of hearts. The first episode success. Okay. Um, I think I think I have that. I think I added that to my library. Maybe I yeah, did. Yeah, manga, dude. Highly recommend. By the way, it's a pretty peak comedy slash rom com. Sounds like it. <laughs> um. Yeah, man. So, what do you? Um, we didn't do this for Baki Monogatari. I should have. Who cares? We'll do it next week. Um, but any any prediction? You know, I feel like it's kind of hard to make predictions for a show like this. But do you have any stuff, any things you think is going to happen next? You're ready next? to see your shut down again. Shut down again. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I mean, she's oh, yeah, definitely. I ask you uh, predictions for uh, what you think's going to happen, but I don't think it's hard to. I don't think you can predict anything that's going to happen next episode. Yeah, I, yeah. To to be honest, I'm kind of running that in my head right now. I, I don't think I really would have any anyway. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I I kind of agree with you, I guess. I mean, again, it's only episode two. Like you said, rom-coms do not succeed this early. They just don't. Um, so shut down again, probably. I'm sure maybe she won't even come to school for a while, right? Mm-hmm. Um, do they have each other's number? Maybe they do. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure she probably just won't come to school for a while, and then they'll make up, and then be like, oh, man, crazy. Here's my backstory. You know, that kind of thing, probably. Um, yeah, I have high hopes for this show. <laughs> as as high as they can be for a show like this, you know. The show has potential to pop off in, like, such a weird way. It does, such yeah. Such a yeah, weird I way. I agree. Um, so... That being said, Ray, moving on to Akudama Drive. Another show that can pop off in such a weird way. <laughs> this show is nuts. I, I just want you to know, the, these two shows we picked this season are very, like, me shows, but on opposite ends of the spectrum. You know what I mean? The, Let me just was was great. I was watching this episode on four times speed, the first episode, dude, when it came out. Okay. And I stopped it, like, five minutes in, and I'm like, I have to watch this on normal speed real quick. Yeah, why is that? Is there any anything in particular, or I just had to pay more attention to the animation. I was like, it's too good. It's it's good, dude. It's really good. It's really stylized. I just, I just have to be like, I'm like, I can't watch this four times. I got to put this on like just single speed and just try to watch this go by. Yeah. Um, so basically, you know, we watched the first two episodes just like the other show. Um, yeah, this show was crazy, man. They're they they got each each main character has got their own like pseudonym for for what they do. The doctor, we got the hacker. Um, doctor, hacker, courier, brawler, uh, hoodlum, and the uh, cutthroat. And now we got swindler. Swindler, yeah. Um, yeah, and so swindler. Um, I couldn't believe that she actually got arrested for that in the, in the very beginning for not paying. And I was like, I feel like I can just leave the food here. I'll go get money, and I'll come back and pay you. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not like she was going to take the food with her, dude. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she wasn't, like, scarfing down the food in, in, in front of your face. She didn't even touch it yet. Like, let me just leave this here. But whatever, you know. It's had to happen for the plot, right? Um, I like how each character is introduced. You know, they, you know, they have, like... Um, they like, birds or whatever that they like, have their animation for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like... It's very... Uh... The animation this is like weird. I got like a psycho pass and uh dang and rompa type of feel to this. Dang and rompa makes sense cuz I think didn't some people work on dang and rompa work on this? I'm, I'm pretty I mean, sure like, that's true. I wouldn't be surprised the colors as well as like I guess some of the eye design like oh, the character yeah, design yeah. really feels like dang and rompa-ish to me. I um, know. So I wouldn't be surprised. I know for a fact some people who worked on Persona worked on this. And that that's not even surprising as well either. I mean, it looks so good. Um, and I, I, I can see with the robot designs as well, I can see the Persona aspect going into that. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I was, uh, I was freaked out that, that the cat talks. Well, I wasn't expecting that. But I, I do like that, even though the Swindler and, and, and Hoodlum, Neither one of them were apparently supposed to be part of this. The fact that they made it that far. Yeah, which shows their potential. Um, and also the, uh, you know, I kind of feel like the cat was leading Swindler for a long time. You know, I feel like if the cat wanted to, could have got rid of Swindler's tail, right? Mm-hmm. Going after the cat. Um. And yeah, so we're kind of... Oh, another thing, Ray. I want, I, I want to know if you thought this as well. Because I thought it. Um, that one uh, executioner, right? Is is what they're called? The like guy and the girl who came in, tried to kill him. The guy executioner reminded me of Kakashi. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, hair, yeah. the hair and then they had the, like, like the mouth covering thing. I was like, man, they're fighting Kakashi. This is crazy. And then he was nice too. Like he was like not taking they're anything. Respectful. He killed the doctor. You know, quote unquote killed. Which 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 
at the time in that scene, you know, you know, before we see her that she lived or whatever, I was like, wow, this show is very bold for killing off a main character in episode two. Very bold. Uh, but they didn't, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, they they have this plan, Ray, to, to like, what was it? Shin, Shinkansen? Shinkansen, whatever. Uh, mm-hmm. They're going to attack it. There's a safe inside. They got the holy train they're praying to. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Because I was really confused. Uh, I was like, yo, they're all praying to this train in the beginning. That's like a rainbow aurora. Mm-hmm. And that, it made sense in the second episode. I'm like, ah, yes, yeah, because it's like super, super special. Apparently, it has like a safe inside of it. The cat won't tell them what's inside the safe because why would they? Or like, where does um, be delivering the thing to? Yeah, and uh, yeah, everyone's really excited about it. Uh, I would say, except for Swindler and Hoodlum, they they definitely wanted out. <laughs> but they would have probably got their head, heads blown off if they if they did. And, uh, yeah, man. Do you think that, well, I mean, so so we're two episodes in, right? What do yeah. you think, what do you think the show is about? Akudama Drive? Yeah. I feel like it's going to be like a heist right now. We're hitting heist status, you know? trying to go sure and then i feel like around halfway through the show we're gonna swap high status into like yo something's off and then we're gonna get tracked down so now it's gonna be heist into a a mission impossible type of scenario Mm. where it's like keep yourself alive at all costs when you say heist do you mean one heist do you mean that this one heist is gonna take another four episodes maybe maybe it may take five or six depending on how they want to set us up um, because like the heist could honestly be long. They could put like two or three episodes into this heist. Like, okay, one episode we got the train. Two episode where like uh, we're getting the stuff. Three we're dipping out of here, and like there's problems along the way. Yeah, because I'm I'm really interested to see where the show is going. Because like I don't know what the show is. Like I know it's focused around the like Akudamas, right? The the, the criminals. But like I, I don't know what the, what story they're trying to tell here is. But I do like. The idea that that you just kind of pitched of it being like a Mission Impossible anime, basically, and they do kind of go through. All right, here's the plan of how we're going to do it because they don't know how they're going to do it yet. They're just all really good at what they do, but they don't know where to even start. Right? Apparently, if something touches the train that isn't accounted for, it burns up into crazy electricity or whatever. It's like I feel like so. From what I understand, the hacker's job is to get them on the train. And to yeah. get everything set up and sorted with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brawler, his job, destroy everything that comes yeah, in their path. Destroy. Yeah. Okay. Doctor, keep everyone alive. Sure. Okay. Cour- courier and everyone else is literally go get whatever is on this train for us. And a courier's job is deliver this item to the location we give you. What about what about cutthroat? Cutthroat, kill everyone who's in your way. Kill, kill, yeah. He's teaming up with Brawler. <laughs> um. Yeah, which would awesome to cut through, cut through ice in them. Which would be really cool to see how they actually do it because the whole thing, like, I feel like it starts at the hacker, like, like you said. But the whole thing is, you can't get into the train system from the outside. Okay. Uh, you know. Apparently, our swindler works for the business, <laughs> the yeah, company that was that. That's true. So yeah. he's our insider, ironically, and I feel like Hoodlum will also play a big part in trying to work things out in that end. I feel like Swindler is going to be like the like idiot savant of it all where it's like, oh, I wasn't supposed to be here, but she actually is the key to like every single step, mm-hmm. you know, without her realizing it. And then by the end, you're like, she was the best character. She was essential in every part of everything, yeah. you know? I'm not sure. Like right now, like this is why I've compared to the psychopaths a bit. We're like, she's the rookie right now, dude. She is. Yeah. Like she's tossed in this. Like I'm hoping that she savages up later on in this. Yeah, I hope she does too. She she had like a, a glimpse of it in the beginning when they were all fighting the big robots in like the arena to save Cutthroat, and she was and she like pointed at the the one Hoodlum. thing and, and and got the yeah. whole tank destroyed. Yeah, point at Hoodlum and be like, "Yo, hit Hoodlum, yeah. <laughs> hit him, kill him." Like I don't care about him. <laughs> Again, that's really odd that she's pointing at someone and was like, 
kill this guy instead, you know. <laughs> but I mean, she she might have known mm-hmm. the the you know the whole plan how it was gonna go, right? Um, there was something else too, but I don't remember something about getting on the train. Then, uh, yeah, oh yeah, there's this other thing where Cutthroat has like grown a fondness for her, which which was kind of out of nowhere, and like he's also very 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 weird character. He's definitely the most like, uh, what's what's the thing? Um. He's definitely the one that the most belongs in like an insane asylum, you know, where, where everyone else is like weird and like a criminal, right? Do you know who the doctor reminds me of? Ooh. Have you watched? Or maybe you've read, I don't know which one, uh, My Hero Academia, Raymond. My Hero Academia. I've never read that indie manga. <laughs> Who's the one character? Uh, Toga, right? The one who has uh, like the uh, like syringes, right? Isn't that isn't that her thing? And then she can like drink the blood and then become someone. That that's who the doctor reminds me of. Like a doctor got syringes, crazy. Okay. You know. Um. Yeah, I mean, I do like the the idea that there's gonna be like a heist, like a Mission Impossible anime. Where it's like we're next episode we're gonna see the plan and all fold out, we're gonna see little pieces. It's gonna do the heist. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be like a second job. Imagine the second job will be like turn turn on. Like a turn on them. You know? It's like oh they could do that, like where like you have to turn on everyone else. It's oh like, yeah. Like... I feel like it, I feel like it's gonna be tough to get them for a second job when they get a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> like I don't think they want to do it anymore. To kill them. Yeah, again, like the cat could be completely using them, and the cat won't like take off the collars when they finish the job. Maybe at some point the hacker will come into play, somehow hack the collars off, right? Defuse them. I think that could happen. So yeah, man, which. Which show are you more excited for right now, Ray? I don't know yet. It's so weird. I, I feel like it is pretty early to, to know that. I feel like, you know, you already said it at the beginning, but uh, both have potential in their own ways. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I thought I was going to like the Adachi to Shimamura. Let me be honest. Like, when I first yeah. saw the first episode. When the second episode hit, I'm like, yo, this has the potential to really spice it up yeah i i I agree with that actually because i think the first episode was like two slice of life and it was like nothing really happened it was like okay we see their relationship and whatever that may be the second episode involved the astronaut more and you know just had more like emotion in it and more like actual character stuff happened more conflict instead of just 24 minutes of them playing table tennis in the gym (laughs) Honestly, I'd be I'm down for ping pong the animation. You already know it's true. I hear that's really good. I wouldn't know. Um but Yeah, man. Unless you have anything else, I think that is it for the anime. In introduction to this is the winter season, right? Or is this the fall season? I don't know. Yeah, I mean introduction to a new season. I think two it's shows. Fall, yeah yeah um and yeah two shows with potential excited to, to to get on them episode three next time right hopefully hopefully they're good hopefully they don't turn out to be worse than last season because <laughs> last season was just okay um yeah man until next time uh i'm really weird dude i mean like it really can go either way, dude. I know. Yeah. Any of these shows. It can go really high or it can go really low. And I'm trying to figure out, like, these episodes got like, me high. I feel like last season was kind of like that, though. Well, no. Well, no, because I feel like... No, last season we picked intentionally bad. Yeah. Yeah, we Yeah, we, we did. 
Well, I, I say intentionally bad in quotes. Bad, you know. Yeah. Like we picked. Well, they they went bad. We could laugh at them bad. Also, to be fair, last season not that great. For like, for us, it was good for stuff. sequels. Yeah, for for sequels, it was great. Uh, also, I feel like that that witch show is gonna be our decadence of this season. There was another show. Let me see. I have like I have it uh, here in my uh, Discord. People are really liking that that witch uh, show. I forgot to mention it for this season. I was saying. Yeah. Uh, we may have talked about it. Right? It's the eccentric family. Uh, yeah, we might have talked about it. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the only other one though. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully the shows just get better. You know, that's uh, that's the hope. You don't want it to get worse. You want it to get better. Uh, until next time, man. Make sure. Uh, um, I don't know. Something. Something fun. You know. Blame it on the school system again. I don't know. It's Blame it on the school system. Blame it on the school system, man. You know. All right.